Okay, I'm gonna have inspection here. Looks like it's gonna be a good one. Lots of junk everywhere. It's an old crate here in right here. Old box butter butter crate. Still not bad condition. I mean it's beat up but not too bad. Hmm. Could be pretty interesting here. There's all kinds of scrap metal, tire and wheel. Oh yeah, definitely like a whore's house. Oh, back door is full. Wow. A lot of stuff here. A lot of bicycles. HMS. Hmm. Three rims right there. They're actually going to renovate this, believe it or not, not tearing it down. So, lots of frying pans kicking around, bicycles. Watch out for bees right now. Well, it's like five bikes right there. I don't even know what's in that shed. Transmission, some sort of drivetrain. Hey, how you doing? Oh, you, you the owner? Uh, yes. Are you opening the door, right? Yes, yeah, I'm trying to open it up for you. Okay. So you, you do the testing, right? Yeah, I do the testing, yeah. Okay. What's all happening with all this junk here? I'm not, uh, we, we just got. Can I take some of that metal? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay.
Watkins Win Ram Limited Coal and Stove Four digit phone number Gravel Street uh, let's play for the forties thirties forties probably Really run down. Can we get a flashlight? Can we get a mask or something? It just sneaks too much in here. But I'm just gonna say, why are they renovating this? Does it make sense? This is definitely a teardown. No matter what you do, this place you can't renovate it properly. I need to get a flashlight and a mask. Hold on. Like almost like gold plate e-waste. Okay, let me just grab my gloves here. But I just want to show you. There's another rim here. Still rim right there. Put my gloves on. That's why I threw my jeans on. I saw a picture of the house. I'm not coming here with shorts. So. It just a, did a bit of a clean out, like a cheap clean out. It's look almost like all pure dirt. Wow. Try to get this light a little better. Focus better. A little better now. Barrel. Saw. There's all sorts of nooks and crannies up there. Wow, this is really interesting. It's a nice looking barrel here too. Oh, another butter box. Wow, no shape too. Been warped. Maybe people glue it. The logo's nice on it. Canadian butter. Saskatchewan. Super sized formula. I don't even know what the hell this stuff could be. Big barrel there. Wow, that's a nice piece of stone there. Hmm. You look at stuff like this, look at the board like that. This is nice stuff. Can't buy this stuff today. It's a nice rock, that rock right there I want. Okay, we'll just kind of crack a casual look. Spend more time looking for junk. The whole inspection, look at that, beautiful. Got some deer oil, beautiful can. I knew the SO, but these ones are just auto, CIL. Hmm. Who knows what's in here? Buried in all the stuff. A piece of copper. Copper. Aluminum. Linseed oil, but it's as hard as rock.
Mine looks like sawdust and dirt everywhere, sand everywhere. That's a tire I've straightened out. Honey, honey drawer here. It's actually a nice label on it. Honey, look at that. British Columbia honey. We Nabal. Not sure. It's a Nabal logo, but. What's this stuff here? Oh, Expo 67. Wow. Expo 67, maple syrup. I think it's maple syrup, I'm thinking. Where's this whiskey, bud? It's a whiskey, this one. Hmm. That's cool. There was some oil here or something. That's why they dumped it. Look, sawdust here. Gold tassel, never seen that before. Calendar here. Old block. Eagle, that's a nice looking lock. Put it in my pocket, I won't forget it. Cassidy. Wow, look at that, huh? Let's have a go with that. Nope. Double R bar wrench. Wow, I do it to be something good here. Somebody rifled through a little bit, but didn't take everything. Here, look at that. A little copper right there. We're taking a lot of rats have been around here. Could be anything squirrels, rats, the gumby. Another vice. It's actually nice, nice and smooth. Cleaned out, I think. Piece of brass at the end. What's this book here say? The tool manual. That's a nice one, actually. Pulled that brass. A piece of brass. Somebody may have cleaned all the good stuff out of here already. Or whatever they thought was good. Mm 
Get all the nice steel bed frame. I think there was a squirrel in here because that's all these for the trees, walnuts. Hmm. A few nice trinkets actually. Lots of freezers here and stuff. Scene. Look at that. Hmm. It's interesting. A piece of hot copper here. Curious in a box here. <sighs> Name ceramic tiles. Floor tiles. Okay, I want to go upstairs. There's already not a hell of a lot down here, but just what's in here? Have a plain one. I just wonder if that's bound, maybe or something. It's unbelievable. Better look at that in the sun. Hmm, interesting. It's got US flag. Not really sure. For now, it's too hot right now. Might be cool in the sun or something. I 
Okay, so that's a little tour. Not seeing a hell of a lot more. To open up some of these windows, get your ear in here. Better. Okay. We'll film some after later. Okay. A bunch of traffic signs here. A little bit worried. Uh, I'm under uh, on top of a stump here, so roll ahead a bit, a couple feet. Okay, the stump was right there. Under my car. So, I'm gonna grab everything I can. Still working here, but. I talked to another owner that came here, told me he wants to renovate it. Says he doesn't have, they don't have money to. To build so they want to renovate it so they can rent it out so we'll see what, what they do this stuff is heavy believe it or not probably about 60-70 pounds here just a few signs oh, it's hot today I'll tell you so we grabbed all the little piece of copper brass fittings and stuff Couple of aluminum poles. There's more wheels. We're gonna rest the wheels. We'll back up a little more. Move this, this stump out of the way. Wow, it's super light for its size. Okay. It's full of wax, I think, or something. Hmm, it's almost like metal. Look, it's all dirty, I guess. Whew. The bicycle's aluminum. Whew, it's way too hard to do anything. There's a dryer here and some other appliances there. A couple of barbecues there. Can't get them, but maybe later when we start doing rentals and stuff. I'll be able to get in here and bring my van. Second mortar I found, well, one steel. Grounding plate. Okay, it's getting good, good load. There's still more steel, but just take the obvious heavier stuff. More solid steel for now. I found it's kind of like a garden weasel, but a steel one. It's kind of cool, it's got a steel wheel. Okay, okay I, found, I found a bunch of toy guns, like really nice ones. Little toy guns. Right, mostly rifles. There's another one here. Look at that. It's a daisy. Well, I don't think it's a pellet gun. I mean, it's just a, just a. It's 
to you. I found a really, really nice one actually. Somewhere, this one's damaged. There's a couple damages I left behind. I found one really, really nice one. I think it's in good shape for that. A little bit bent. Stock's a bit bent, but isn't it cool? So, I got a lot of material here, so I'll probably have to do unboxing, unloading video to really get to see everything I got here, but you got that frame, got those pelt, these air, well, air or whatever they are. I don't think they're air, but uh, mostly toys. I got a stereo for a Chevy, car stereo. Look at that got that old rock there, it's got some pyrite on it. Honey label here, which is quite nice. British Columbia Honey. British Columbia Honey. BA upboard mortar oil. Just a few things I want to take more. There's a safe down there. Well, that big cabinet on the ground, those are the doors for you. Can't even lift those cabinet doors. They're so heavy. It's some sort of ammunition safe. But, uh, I say I did really good. I got two aluminum wheels. Tires and wheels, all sorts of a lot of copper pieces I found. Every, every time I go look around, I find something else. That's how weird this house is. It keeps giving up stuff. I keep walking around to find more stuff, but I did most of the stuff in the back already. Well, there's still tons of material, but I'm not gonna get it all. But I need the tire, but I'm gonna have a chance to come back here. I think when maybe when they do demo. That's what I'm hoping. Look at commercial, commercial oven or stove or something. Just grab one of the cords I can grab. Just way too hot. Cut more cords inside. We're going to base it one more time just to take a quick look. See, that all, it's all kinds of metal, a lot of good stuff, a lot of HMS. Look at this, these aluminum ores. All kinds of just kind of weird stuff. You know, hoarder kind of stuff for that's been around for 30, 40 years, 50 years. This house built 1958, so it's an old house. Here's a safe here. I don't know how they can even get it out. Probably an ammunition, I think. A lot of copper around. You know, they're used copper pipes from different uh, renovations and stuff, repairs. Grab this one here. I like to get that too. This vice would be nice. Oh, it's only got two bolts here, I see. Let me try to get that off because it's just so smooth. There's a pipe here. Oh, it's copper right there. See, every time I, I come back for something else or something better, more copper, see? See, the house keeps giving. I can't see it all, it's a problem. I think there was a raccoon, no a raccoon, of squirrels or something in here. Nice meat hook. But every time I can see a key, I'm looking in the crevices. Stuff sitting in the corner, even this pipe would be good. Give that off maybe after. But uh, I can't touch the copper because they're doing a renovation or something here. And who knows what exactly doing? They're doing no wire here. I don't even really know. 
Okay, hold on. I think someone's coming here. Okay, I'm finished that job there. I did the inspection there. I took all my samples. Um, wasn't too bad. Uh, you know, just standard asbestos, I can see. The stucco seemed a little suspicious. Really crumbly, which is not a good sign, but... Anyways, um, yeah, I, I stopped filming there just because this guy is the other partner. The first partner we had on video, he said no problem, but sometimes the other partners get weird. But no, he was good. He, uh, he saw one of the toy guns that were sitting, that were left behind. That were, he's like, is that a real gun? I said, no, not a real gun. It was all broken anyways, but... I show him that safe there. We're talking about that big, huge safe and the doors are outside. That safe is probably unbelievably heavy. It's got to be 1,000 pounds the case and the doors are probably 300 pounds each you know I could even budget like it barely if I could I could lift up a little bit but I couldn't move it myself was that heavy so I don't know how they got down there but it's probably an ammunition gun safe guns and, and ammunition that's why it's probably this kid all these kid rifles there toys and stuff probably the guy was a, a gun collector the guy was about 80 years old um, either sold it or who knows what happened there but I grabbed all the uh, wheels in the yard, all the HMS, what I could. I'm sure I could spend a lot more time there, but you know, that's a problem. I have a window, only a small window, you know, maybe two, three hours at the most doing my inspection. So usually if I do my inspection, I'll be there out of there half the amount of time. I've been there since um, two, two o'clock. I've been here, there for over four hours. Over four hours just kind of, Mostly doing circles because when you look one time, you miss stuff. You go back in, you find more and more, even copper. I was, saw a couple pieces on the ground, then looked, I saw another piece, and I started looking between, you know, little, little ledges and stuff hanging on the side of the outside wall. More copper stuff. I got probably out of 10 pounds of copper at least, I would think. A little bit of wire, uh, at least 10, 10 uh, steel rims. And then I have two aluminum rims on tires, one bike, uh, pots and pans. What else I got there? I got about half a dozen kids' rifles I showed you. Just odds and ends, right? Stuff you want to save. Not big, not big dollars, but you know, the game of the game is trying to save stuff, saving history. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll probably uh, unload some. Probably of stuff show you tomorrow. a couple things tomorrow. As I unload, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.